Hello, Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Welcome to Talk About with Shabnam Riaz and today we're going to be talking about how to face the camera. With more than 20 years of experience in front of the camera, reading the news and doing programs as well, there are quite a few tips I've picked up on the way and I'd like to share them with you. Well, you know, first of all, know what you're going to talk about. Sometimes you want to say something and then when you're sitting in front of a camera, all of a sudden you are just too conscious of everything. And the thoughts that so easily will make their way from your brain to your tongue starts getting held up on the way. Sometimes you'll stammer, you'll stutter, you'll forget what you wanted to say. Um, all you need to do for that one is to be familiar with your content. If you know what you are talking about, if you are clear and focused about what it is you want to say, then the rest of that will be much more easier for you. And you know, what you can do is you can make points. Uh, the great thing about filming at home or in your own studio or wherever you're going to you know, use your backdrop is that you can edit out anything that you think didn't work properly or you didn't like, so you have that luxury. Make sure you're connecting. The main thing about any presenter, um, you know, whether you're reading the news, whether you're um, presenting a program, whether you're just doing a YouTube video at home, uh, and the main thing that will set you apart from the rest is the connection. How do you make that connection? Um, the camera loves genuine people, genuine personalities. So whatever you are, you need to come across as yourself. Do not pretend to be somebody else. Do not put on a fake accent. Do not try to be things that don't connect because when you are not being yourself, then your body language, everything you're saying, it won't match. So remember to smile if you come across as a person who is very, very sort of, you know, something like that and robotic, then that's not going to help um, making any connectivity. You want to get a part of your personality to translate through. So that's that is something that will also help you. Be animated in your body language, use your hands, not too much, don't overdo anything. But then again, how you are as a person, naturally the way you speak when you're in company, in conversation, you just want to carry that on um, and make your presentation engaging. Speak clearly. Many times when we're in front of the camera and you're getting comfortable and everything, well, we can fall prey to the habit of um, speaking in a rush because um, you may be excited. There may be lots of things you want to talk about. There may be lots of things you want to get forward. So, you know, a person can get a bit too excited or sometimes it comes across as nervous energy. Want to look presentable, engaging, something that is, you know, interesting to watch. So make sure you have the right background, do a bit of research on that, on what you're wearing, too many colors maybe, too much of a print. Yes, I'm wearing a print today, I don't usually. Um, so many of these things, you know, you want to create a balance, you want to be aesthetically pleasing. Also another tip here that when you are recording your videos, Make sure that you are leaving pauses in between topics or things that you're talking about because if you're going to edit yourself, that will prove to be very, very helpful. It'll be good to write down your tips maybe in order, the, the pointers that you want, uh, so you can keep going back to them and referencing them. So everything seems that it's coming in some sort of a flow, makes it easier for you to do, for you to present. Also makes it easier for the viewer at home to understand. And another tip, want to be hydrated. You want to have a glass of water by you and um, make sure you are not taking anything, eating or drinking anything that's affecting your vocal cords before you're going to be presenting or speaking on video in front of the camera. Keep yourself hydrated, 
have a sip of water if you feel that your throat is drying out and relax. Actually, if you start to enjoy yourself, that too will translate across to the person who's watching your video and they'll be interested. They'll say, okay, this is, this is interesting. I like this. I want to see more of this person. And that's the main thing. So I hope that these tips have been helpful for you. Please do incorporate them in your videos. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment box. Do subscribe to the uh, channel if you want to and like the video. Hoping to see you next time. Bye bye.